Hi, I'm Moina. Um, I'm here in the SVA gallery um, because I've been doing a two-week residency here um, and I've been focusing on trying to make a film a day and creating kind of different sets like these to create these films in. I've mainly been doing these projects in quite an improvised way so not trying to plan too much, just seeing what happens. So this became a film set for um, the tale of Pastorina, um, a story about my um, sister playing this character called Pastorina, who was just um, a massive supporter of Penne and Penne having more of a voice in the world and the rivalry between couscous and pasta and um, the upsets around that and how everyone really does need to um, maybe just bring all of these things together. Every wall in this gallery is a kind of, it's got a different theme going on. It's not really intentional, I just think I'm probably a bit like one of those Amazonian animals that group colours together just can't help it. This is uh, the Dairy Leisure Centre um, in celebration of all things dairy and celebratory in that respect. Um, also homes this cat called Charity who is my muse, an enemy and friend. Um, as you can see, it's got quite a lot of hate in its eyes, as well as a lot of love. So this is a kind of shrine in tribute to um, this um, sacred cat. It is a cat, if you're wondering. I have been making this film about, in this residency, about um, a Jilted Bride and what I've been trying to do with making these films is very much responding to my current state of mind. So the day that I made the Jilted Bride film I was feeling quite sassy, I was listening to quite lustful tunes and I was also kind of in quite a lonesome state, not in a sad way, just in an alone way. So I was like standing, I'd made this kind of altar scene and um, I had a scotch egg, very hungry, and I was thinking, I feel like the scotch egg really fits in with the altar. So I was thinking, why would you have a scotch egg at an altar? And I realised it was because you'd been jilted. So, and maybe by this point you were a professional at being a jilted bride, so you packed your snacks in regiment to be waiting for your partner to turn up. And um, so, yeah, then I just did a film of myself quite grumpily and angrily eating a scotch egg at the, at the altar, being quite bored and then imagining all the crowd slowly leaving. Um, so that's what this outfit is all about. These lettuces are iceberg lettuces from Iceland. Um, which is a shop that is, uh, mainly inspires my um, work, as well as Home Bargains, Wilco's and Poundland. So I always have to remember to pay massive tribute to them. It's often why I'm running around a lot is to catch those shops before they close to pick up some kind of vegetable or um, kids toy. I think quite a lot of my um, sets end up as kind of uh, being inspired by medieval banquet styles or kind of ceremonial celebrations but using quite day-to-day -day objects and mixed up with very surreal characters um, which makes everything a bit more exciting for me. These are some digital prints of 
um, some of my plasticine sculptures onto fabric. Um, so those plasticine sculptures I use in a film and then um, these, uh, I use these screenshots from the film to make these printed costumes um, and I really like working in that kind of cycle where you, you make um, a drawing or a sculpture and you, you turn that into a film and then you use the uh, kind of the scenes of a film to print onto um, fabric to make more costumes to make a new film so you've always got these like hints of past projects because everything is always being recycled.